Okay, class, welcome to our session this week. So it's President's Day here, and we got lots of snow yesterday. Well, mostly Saturday night, I guess, but um, anyway, it's time to kick off a new week in class, and this week is about type and color. And it's kind of a simple week, really. You just have some readings from, tech, from the textbook, chapter 7 and 8, on type and color. And then I have a couple of recorded presentations about type and color um, here. And so you can watch both of those. And then uh, as part of your work this week, of course, you're working on your graphic design project. And so you'll want to submit that by the end of the week um, before we finish our work or before we finish the week. And so we're looking for these graphic and text elements. We're looking for a poster making use of limited color scheme. By the way, it could be a flyer too. So if you want to make a flyer, you can just change all these items in the rubric to say the flyer. But anyway, it makes use of a limited color scheme. You don't want to have every color in the world, but you want to try to match colors with a picture and with any text that you use. Um, takes advantage of some elements of design, which may include space, line, shape, form, size, scale, color, texture, and value. Has a strong focal point, so that's a requirement. Make sure that you have a strong focal point in the poster and uh, that not other elements don't distract from that focal point. Uh, it makes appropriate use of the principle of balance and unity, and then other principles of design if applicable. And then also review that chapter on the 13 layout sins as outlined in the textbook so that you don't commit any of those 13 layout sins as outlined in the textbook in chapter 4. So that's the poster. I think we've gotten some guidance for each of you on your posters so far from the discussion board from last week. So carry on with those ideas and complete your poster and submit it by the end of the week. And I hope you're having a good, hopefully it's a day off for you for President's Day. If not, then hope you're having a good day at work. If it is a day off, then hopefully you're having a fun day. And have a great week.